So now we're ready to talk about um, the inverse property for logs and for exponentials and, and to see how they really do relate. Uh, now, if you remember, inverse uh, functions um, are inverse mappings. Uh, one a function will take you somewhere, the inverse will bring you right back. So uh, for logs and exponentials, um, if we have a log, uh, let's say y equals log base a of x, um, we can rewrite this in its exponential form as a to the y equals x. Uh, and that's a very, very important property, and, and you'll see why in this next example. Um, but again, it all stems back from the, the idea that the, the logarithmic and exponential functions are inverses of one another. <clears throat> so if we take a look at uh, the example, log base 8 of 32, uh, and if we're told to evaluate that, um, one of the easiest things to do is to actually just go ahead and label and rearrange. So we're currently in this form right here. In fact, I'll even take our expression here and I'll set it equal to y. Um, from there, it's probably easiest to identify our a, the x, and the y. Uh, in our case, this would be our a, the 32 would be the x, and of course the y would be the y. And now I'm going to take it and I'm going to rewrite it in this form here. Um, so we would have 8 to the y equals 32. Now, um, this is a very standard exponential equation. Um, the easiest way to solve exponential equations, if possible, uh, is to get the bases the same. Uh, and assuming you have one single log equals one single log with the same base, uh, we can uh, ignore the bases and work with just the exponents. Um, and this is certainly the case here. Uh, this would be 2 to the 3y and this would be 2 to the 5th. So one single exponential equals one single exponential with the same base, therefore 3y equals 5, and y equals 5 thirds. Uh, so that y that we started with in the original, uh, that's actually equal to 5 thirds, which means that log base 8 of 32 equals 5 thirds. Another really nice uh, use um, is of that uh, inverse properties to actually find the inverse of either exponentials or logarithms. Um, and these are, are, are pretty nice problems because as you look to see what you're given, uh, in this example we have an exponential function and we're told to find the inverse. Well, of course we know that the final answer is going to be a logarithmic function. Um, so it is really just a matter of interchanging coordinates um, and then rewriting uh, using the, uh, the inverse property form. Uh, and I'll actually go ahead and put that back up on the screen. Uh, this is what I had written just a moment ago. So to start this problem, to find the inverse, I'll go ahead and I'll interchange coordinates. So x equals 6 raised to the y plus 1 minus 2. And I'm, I'm going to be in this exponential form here, but, but I do want to warn you, you want to get the exponential all by itself. So we're going to say x plus 2 equals 6 raised to the y plus 1. At this point, now that the exponential is isolated, we can go ahead and label. Uh, the 6 would be the a. Whatever sits over here all by itself is going to be the x. And this entire quantity up here is going to be the y. So I'm going to take those three parts and I'm going to throw them back into this form, uh, which in our case, we would have a y plus 1 equals log base 6 of x plus 2. And to finish solving for y, all I'm going to need to do is add the, I'm sorry, subtract the 1 over. And there sits the inverse of the function that we started with. 